Do you think Peter Douche has finally come around, or is he simply following the most a probable candidate until HRC makes her entry into the race? No, Peter Dow is now backing Bernie. Yeah. So what do you think of that? What do you think of, because obviously he was mocked so much in 2016 that our friend Pat created the Peter Dushka account, right. which is hilarious. He's he, so funny. He's so funny. Pat and, the and burner. And now, uh, now it's Nate's liver. He changed it to Nate's liver because Peter Dow reached out to him and, and wanted to kind of, you know, build a bridge and he accepted. Um, so, you know, and, and I personally was blocked by Peter Dow. I am no longer blocked by Peter Dow. Um... I'm curious, man. He's one of those guys I would like to talk to him directly and just sort of, you know, pick his brain about it. Be like, dude, look, man. I mean, I will say this. When the guy talks about how a bunch of the Hillary people come after him now, I personally, and I know some people might disagree with this, I don't feel sorry for him. Because to me, that's like that's like Frankenstein turning on Victor. I'm sorry. Like that guy, you, you, you know, he sowed a lot of, I mean, he was very combative in 2016 incredibly and any criticism of hillary was sexist and this yep. and that he played he was, that he was the yeah. big architect of that the yeah. biggest architect arguably um and now all of a sudden he's changed his tune now who am i to tell somebody they can't change or who am i to determine whether someone made a genuine change or not i can only make an assessment to the best of my ability so I hope it's sincere because now he's helping out some grassroots people uh who i want to i want to see succeed you know, so I mean, I'll say this. I don't know the man personally. Yeah, I don't either. I only know his public thing. And again, I agree with you t totally. I mean, look, uh, Hillary people are coming after you. Hey, brother, live by the sword, die by the sword. You, oh, you, totally. You, you did this. Like if I suddenly turned on Bernie and said I was backing Buddha judge and, and all of the viewers of this show came after me, I wouldn't be like, oh, it's not nice. I'd I like, did the high hope stance on a surfboard <laughs> and it changed everything. <laughs> so. You know, hey man, you got to own that. You 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 said you said all that like you said, all that identity politics, all those things that were really insulting to people like us. Oh, totally. You know, any any criticism of Hillary. Oh, and it was even more insulting to people who weren't us. Right. Because you know, like like the like the archetype Bernie Bros, that's us. It's even more insulting to all the people of color who supported all Bernie the women. and still do support Bernie. All the women who supported right. Bernie and still do. It's even more insulting yeah. to the people who aren't white dudes. Right. So you have to you have to own that. Now, now, that being said, you know, you just got to suck up and own that. Is he, as is anyone capable of changing? And I, I, yeah, I want to believe that he is. I want to believe that he's, he's really like, man, maybe I messed up. Maybe I really blew it. Maybe I, I, I'm talking to more and more people that are slowly kind of waking up to the like Trump derangement syndrome they're kind of waking sure. up from that fog uh they're waking up to the like they're they're more of them who maybe four years ago even two years ago maybe even a year ago still thought hillary would have been a great president and they're starting to step back and see the how broken the whole system is mm -hmm. and I've, I've talked to a lot of people like man look i voted for hillary but woo, i don't i think we needed trump i'm talking to more and more people yeah. about that and so is he one of the could he be one of those people yeah i think he could be we'll find out yeah look, well and in fairness to him I, I will say this and again like the disclaimer you gave of course applies to me too don't know him personally i'm going all of this by his public persona that's all i can go off he hasn't shied away from what he was you know, like, like he's up front where he's just like, this was who I was and I have changed and this is why. So, you know, I, I really hope it's sincere. I don't have any reason to believe it's not other than just the fact that it's like, well, gee, you know, he's not getting a paycheck now. So there is that, but you know, I certainly want to believe it's sincere. Yeah. I mean, look, it'll, it'll be obvious. I mean, like if Hillary jumps in the race and he's like, I'm all in for Hillary, then right. we just know this was just a whatever. Uh, but as it stands now, I take the man at his word. I, I, I'm not going to, I don't, like I said, I don't feel sorry for the fact that he's taking crap for all the, you know, he, he said all that shit, so he's got to own it. Yeah. But is he waking up to the reality that, that maybe Bernie actually, you, you can't, if you really, if you're not on the payroll and that's a, that's a great point you make. He's not on the payroll anymore. So he doesn't have to. And also the Clinton mystique is kind of starting to come unraveled now. Mm -hmm. There's that book of her former staffers that said the Russia gate was concocted 24 hours after the election. Mm -hmm. That's out. Her staffers are turning on her. 
not burn bros, not people in our world, but inside her world, they're going, nope. The Tulsi Gabbard thing, we watched it, we talked about it. When CNN went, geez, when these like corporate oh, yeah. Democrats. Hillary Clinton united the country with everyone pointing out what an unhinged lunatic she is. Right. And that's yeah. how she united everybody. She got libertarians and center right people to go, oh, I'm on board with Tulsi. Yeah, she got, well, even, uh, even the Democratic, I mean, even, hey, to her credit, even Kamala yes, Harris yeah. was like, okay, that's her opinion. Uh, all right. I really want to hate Tulsi because she really handed me my lunch, but okay, easy. Right. Hillary, easy. Yeah. Everyone went, wait a minute. So are you saying a sitting Congresswoman is a Russian asset, a member of the uh Army National Guard that's a major? Even Beto O'Rourke had a good moment. I know. She she gave she gave skateboard Magoo, who by the way isn't even the best skateboarder in the election. Andrew Yang is. <laughs> he can't even he can't even claim that. Andrew Yang skated circles around him, literally. If you watch that video, Andrew Yang can actually skateboard pretty well. And uh but even he had a great moment there. He had a great response to that. Yeah. And so uh, maybe because if you work within the Clinton organization, I'm sorry. There's no way. I mean, even Stephanopoulos, all of them have come away going, man, I thought I was backing. And they, they, you can't not see the corruption and the way the Clintons do business, the way they turn on people, the mm -hmm. way they just say and do whatever they got to do to get power. You can't not see that if you're working it up close with them. When you work up close with somebody, you see who they are. You see who they are. So... Maybe because the Clinton mystique and the corporate Democrats and the corporate media even called out Hillary's insanity, maybe Peter Dow finally went, wow, maybe it's finally safe for me. Mm -hmm. Because that's the other thing, too. The Clintons will operate on fear. They yeah. operate on scare tactics and you better watch out and we're going to come get you. They play hardball. So now maybe it's like, well, they don't have the juice that they had anymore because if neither one of them are in public office, there's no reason for these countries to to donate to the foundation. The Clinton Foundation is all about uh, you... helping people. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I really booked the wrong guest. This, week. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. this is how we learn. <laughs> this is this is yeah. It is all about helping people, and by people you mean like Middle Eastern banks, countries. yeah, banks and people. Banks are people. Yeah, and the the twenty. Uh, countries that donated to the Clinton Foundation and then when she became Secretary of State they all got defense contracts like helping people like that Graham who do you think stays at luxury hotels people right. rich ones but they're people yes Haiti needed luxury hotels after exactly. a horrible natural disaster not housing and social services have you seen the Yelp reviews <laughs> through the roof <laughs> so yes I hope that answers your question we both think um Peter Dowd is actually being sincere. Maybe he had a legitimate change of heart, or maybe he's not afraid of being taken out by the Clintons. And right now, I take him at his word. We hope that he changed. <laughs> so that's <laughs> what we think about Peter Dowd. We had a beer with him. He's a good guy. Got money from the banks. I don't know what impression I'm doing, but I'm just doing an old guy's voice. I'm, I think I'm you, trying to do Obama. You're doing Obama. I'm doing Obama. I'm just it's not doing, great. I'm just. I could be doing Wilford Brimley. Who knows what I'm doing? Obama and Wilford Brimley having a beer. <laughs> I'll take it. I like oatmeal. I like beer. Um, I like catheters. I don't know. That's what for Brimley's new ad campaign is catheters. I think he rides in on a horse. Anyway. I'm doing a Netflix series on catheters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Netflix for catheters. Um, all right. Go see us on the road, everybody. GrahamElwood.com or RonPlacone.com. December 13th, we're in Ventura. Ventura. December 14th, we are in Hollywood. And, just, and in 2020, we got a bunch of tour dates. Tons of tour dates already announced. And we're announcing more, more. Midwest. We're coming. We just confirmed Milwaukee and Chicago. Ooh. Those were recently confirmed. Uh, first part of the year, Tucson, Arizona, San Francisco, California. Get those tickets now. 302 people watching. Please, please, please. Hit the like button, subscribe, and send this out on uh, 